Hello guys, here is the next part for replacing the character in Unreal Engine 4. In this one we do the first step for adding the animations, because a character can just be moved around and rotated. And this is adding a blend space to blend from idle to run animation. I opened the animation folder, where my animations of the low poly character are, and right click and select animation blend space 1D. And when you click this, you have to select the skeleton for which you want to create the blend space and I'm choosing the low poly character skeleton. Then I name this LP for low poly underscore PS for blend space. Okay, now open this. And here you can see the character and on the right side you have the animations idle and run that we drag onto this bar, the idle animation to the start and the run animation to the end because we want to blend from idle to run, okay? Great, the horizontal axis defines the speed, so I will name this speed instead of none, and the maximum I set to 375. Why I use this magic number I will explain when we're going to add the animation blueprint. The interpolation time I set to 0.2, I found out that this is a good number for interpolating the speed. And there's another magic parameter called target weight interpolation and I set this to 5. This is used for a smooth sampling that you could also define for the character skeleton per bone. Alright, the blend space for blending idle to run animation is now defined. The last thing we need and that I will point out in the third part of this tutorial is the animation blueprint. This will bring all the stuff together that we created, the third person character, the movement, the animations and the blend space. So stay tuned, the next part will follow soon. And if you like this tutorial, please like it, and if you like my channel, please don't forget to subscribe. Thanks a lot for watching, and thanks for your support. Perhaps you consider supporting me on my Patreon, and I hope you come back soon to JNM.